So Father's Day is tomorrow, huh? Um, I know I have a lot of new viewers, new fans, um, but anyone who's followed me for a while or hasn't followed me for a while but decided to get caught up by watching a lot of my videos all at once, which you can only do if you don't have anything else to do. Um, and most people have more of a life than that, okay? Uh, Father's Day is a joke for me. Okay? A joke, a joke, a joke. And my father treated me like shit when I was a kid. Forced to move in with him. He left my mom and I when I was two anyway. But anyway, um, it's a joke to me. Because despite everything that he did to me, I still was, was in his life as an adult, okay? But he didn't exactly redeem himself because when Donald Nelly killed me and laughed about it, my father had discovered me, found me when I wasn't really in his life anymore. And it didn't mean I was sitting there hating him. I just, you know, I wasn't in his life anymore. I, when I took off to California to be with Donald, it was like, you know, it was, the adventure of a lifetime. I thought I was running into my my eternal soulmate's arms, not into the arms of evil. But my father found me when I was at a, my real lowest point and didn't care. He accused me of being narcissistic because I was talking about what Donald had done to me. Okay, Mom, Daddy. I'm not talking about boys and makeup and all of that. I'm talking about nearly dying at the hands of a man that I'd spent seven years, eight months of my life with and thought was my soulmate. Okay, so fuck him. Fuck him. Right? I don't need him. He doesn't even mean anything to me anymore. But I gave him a chance to redeem himself. And redeem himself doesn't mean fall into his knees and apologize for how he treated me as a kid. It, it, but it means not being a fucking asshole and caring. You're the one who found me and I'm sorry that I'm not all married and happy and you know, all this crap. Because you want to introduce me to my, my long lost half brother, supposedly. And us to be all one big happy family, you know. It's like, fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. I don't even know if he's still alive. But if he is, fuck him. Okay? Fuck him. Doesn't phase me. Now, that being said, doesn't phase me, but it, it all contributes to me being fucked up in every way not to pay. <laughs> but we already know that. That guy, like I said, the guy from the most charge was around my age. He might have even been a tiny bit younger. But it doesn't matter because I behave so much younger than I am. My chronological age doesn't mean shit. But he knew me enough and he'd only just met me, but we've been talking and stuff because I don't I don't censor myself. <laughs> okay. What you guys get on, on YouTube, people in real life get, too. I just want to make that clear. I, I, that's just who I am. I don't know. But anyway, he said to me, it's almost a direct quote, if I can remember correctly. It might be a direct quote. Um, I know you don't want to hear this, but you would make somebody a great wife. I'm thinking to myself, you're right. I don't want to hear it. He was looking for a wife. That was his big thing. Again, I wasn't physically attracted to him, um, but it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered because he's, again, he goes to my mother's die-hard, heaven help, Christian church, okay? I don't need to be with anyone who thinks I'm going to burn eternally and all of eternity in hell, okay? So anyone like that, stay away from me. Um, but yeah, he 
already knew me. He barely knew me at all, and he's like, I know you don't want to hear this. I know you want to hear this, but you make someone a great wife. Uh-huh. I am so, I can't be with anybody, only possibly on the most casual level, you know. Like I said, beach guy would have been, I would have been, if he, but he didn't care enough, obviously. I wasn't looking to be a notch on his bedpost, just because I was looking for a boyfriend, you know. And he didn't want, he wanted, didn't want that. Like I said, he wasn't willing to see me. And again, I wasn't expecting him to take me out and spend a million dollars. We could go hang out at the beach again. Anything but just meeting him at the hotel, which is what he wanted. Or, or well, I know you now. I could come pick you up where you live. Yeah, I don't think so. But no, he wasn't interested. He was not interested. He wanted to just, you know. And he told you, he thought he was being slick. Remember, he'd already met me, but he thought he was being slick. We don't have to have sex. We can just watch porn and, and, you know. That would have never happened. Not in a million years would that have happened. Okay? I told you. I was hot for him. I didn't want to just be a notch on his. I didn't want to do that. I wanted him to at least, you know, I wanted him and just, but all he would have had to do was just maybe once. Um, it's not like we have to wait a month or something. Just, he, I wanted to see if he was willing. I was testing him to see if he'd be willing to just meet me at, you know, once. Nope, he wasn't. He'd rather give me up than meet me once before, you know, he just wanted me to go to that hotel. It's, it, that's how so many people are nowadays, though. You know, they just want instant gratification and I'm not going to do that. I haven't, when I haven't had sex at this time, it was 13, so I hadn't had sex in five years, okay? And now it's, like, ridiculous, obscene. No. 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 Not doing it. Not doing it. But as for boyfriend or whatever, I wouldn't know how to be with anybody. And I'm not saying that to be cute or whatever. It's the truth. I was in an abusive relationship for too, too long, and that's like being alone, because I've been alone for so long. I wouldn't know how, and I don't want the pressure, you know what I mean? I don't want the pressure, I, I can't, I can't. <laughs>